I think that's just the culture we have here. Um, everybody wants to play on this floor. Like, we got we got guys. Like I'm not I'm not overlooking the fact that we have guys that aren't getting into the game because it's totally leaving out there. I'm not I'm not gonna take that for granted. Uh, I'm not gonna complain about like playing minutes. Like everybody on this on this roster wants to play minutes. No one wants to come off this floor. Everyone wants to play every second. So when when Payne leaves me out there, I just got that in mind. Like, I keep playing. Like play for play for people that can't play right now. Or play for people that you're playing over right now. And, um, obviously, we need to be out there on the floor, so I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to get off that floor. Wait, were you, were you at all uh, a little winded when you, when you guys missed the two TV timeouts? So you played like eight minutes, twelve minutes straight there, whatever it was. No, I'm no. good. I, I, I could play another game. <laughs> I, don't, I don't get tired. There was that a. Uh, Trey started off on DJ. You had him most of the second half. Take us through the strategy early on. Is DJ really just struggling to get going? Uh, he's a great player. Uh, I just really try to lock in on him, uh, keep him off his spots, um, try to keep him away from his left hand as much as possible, make it difficult to, for him to get deep and get over that, that right shoulder. Um, but he's a great player. He made, he made some tough ones. Um, I can respect him. Why did you guys always have an answer in this game? I think that's just kind of how we, we've been all year. Uh, we got vets. Um, we got people that have been, been in a lot of important uh, important moments uh, throughout these two years. And, you kind of see it. Like when, when teams make a run, when we go on a run, we stay even and we, we stay the same team. After today's game, you passed David Robinson for most consecutive 20 and 10 games in the NCAA tournament. I'm not sure if you knew that, but hearing that, what kind of runs through your mind knowing the history that you made in this, in this victory? Uh, I mean, it's cool. Uh, it, it's another record that I get to get to hang my hat on. And get another, just, like being being mentioned in the same area as those people. Those are all time great. Like, respect, like all respect to them. Uh, to kind of be on the list with them, it, it, it's amazing. Um, and to be on the list like that, it, it's amazing. There was a point where uh, DJ Burns was chatting with you and he had you laughing a little bit. What, uh, what were some of the conversations with him out there like? I'll just keep that between us, but he's a good guy. <laughs> Thank you. Zach, to have to win a game ugly, you guys showed that we're not just a team that has to go out and score 90 points, 80 points to beat you. And this kind of show, you know, however you want to try to play us, we can beat you. Still. Yeah, um, I think it just kind of comes with uh, like being an older team and being, being a team that, that everyone came back. Uh, we've all been through like every moment together. Like there's nothing, there's no situation you could throw us in right now that that we haven't been through as a unit. So I think kind of just staying even, um, staying steady, and, and trusting like trusting us and trusting our team and trusting like what we do uh, to win games. Um, that's kind of like what we've, we've done all year and besides today. Is that great tonight offensively? Brady didn't play his best game obviously. Mason Fletcher, Lance, did you kind of show? We are a deep team. We got a lot of stars in this group. Yeah, for sure. That's something I've been saying all year. Like we got a lot of guys that can go. Um, like you can only, you can only play five guys at once, obviously. But we got a lot of guys that can play a lot of minutes on, on teams. Um, just kind of saw them step up today. Zach, when you were with Team Canada this summer, you did not get as much run. How did you keep yourself in shape and continue to advance your conditioning during that period? Um, yeah, it's obviously it's kind of. It's kind of tough, but it's not because um, obviously when you start playing a lot of games, you practice less. But before that, like I'm, I'm playing against NBA guys every uh, every day. Like we uh, Team Canada, we do two a day, so I'm, I'm going twice against them every day. Um, it's kind of being appreciative of that um, and trying to take that back. And then obviously uh, at Purdue, I know I know what my role is. I know I, I can't get tired. I know I gotta be on that floor. Um, so just trying to stay in shape uh, as best as I can. Um, and then when I get back to Purdue, obviously really getting getting back to that. Zach, that turnover issue, turnover issue, we started to mount a little bit there throughout the game. How did you guys kind of shake that off? That's kind of been the thing that's held you back at times this year. Yeah, um, I turned the ball over too much. I was I was trying to force the issue a little too much sometimes. Um, but I think it's just kind of guys, like we, we weren't moving the ball enough, I feel like. Got a lot of guys trying to make like, uh, like quick early shot clock plays, a one-on-one, -on -one, like me, me included, I was doing that. So I think just just uh, trusting the trusting our teammates more on moving the ball and keeping the ball flowing in the second half, especially at the end of that second half, really helped us. Exactly.